Storytellers have long been inspired by sons and daughters from rival families who fall in love, with consequences ranging from the tragic to the comic. Combine that plotline with a dash of reality TV, and you have Keeping Up With The Kandas Armies. And we met up with some of the cast and movie makers recently. Keeping Up With The Kandas Armies is directed by Jayan Mudli, who has described the movie as a love letter to Chatsworth. This whole project has really been quite a journey. It started way back in 2012. It's something that hasn't been done before. For the first time, really, a, a comedy set in Chatsworth is going to set the big screen alight. So we have these two amazing women, Jennifer Kandasamy and Shanti Naidu, who live in Chatsworth, but they have built a metaphoric wall between them because they're neighbours. And in Chatsworth, your neighbour is basically your extended family. I play Shanti. Shanti is this lovable, uh, fantastically bubbly personality. I play the character of Jennifer. The movie actually centres around Jennifer and Shanti. In every Indian home or in an Indian family, you find the Auntie Shanti. I think audiences are going to love Shanti because she's just huggable. It's very my son. That lady said it was a designer sari, one of its kind. Now she's using it. I actually think she can pull it off. Jennifer and her family have kind of made it. She's a corporate figure and a little bit aloof and snooty. Jeloshni Naidu, Jennifer, I didn't like working with her actually because she's just like her character, stuck up and snobby. I'm just joking. I'd love working with Jay Loshni Naidu. You know that story about Rani's do The story about Rani's daughter when they decided... Both of them worked really hard and both of them brought their characters to life. I mean, you have these two women on the opposite ends of the spectrum. Oh, please stop munching and crunching all the time. I can't even hear myself think. As I was saying. The two of them have to come together in order to hatch some sort of really wicked plan. Shanti, listen to me. If you and I don't do something about this now, your precious Prashen will have to drop out of medical school and be changing stinky nappies. Is that what you want? The young couple, Prashen and Jodi, are played by Madhushan Singh and Mishka Parthipal. And they pull it off beautifully. The audience is going to fall in love with these youngsters. Campus going, 19 and 20 years old, the young medical student, the young drama student, who just bring a different spin to, to life in Chatsworth from the youngsters' eyes. She's so funny. They don't make a match at all. I mean, she's this snob just like a mother and he's sweet and he's caring and he takes nice lunch to university and she brings cheese and a lettuce leaf. I mean who wants to eat that? He can find so much better. I mean he can find a nice girl that has a little bit of meat on her. How? You forgot me. You don't remember how I used to change your toweling napkins when you were small. <laughs> That's Uncle Kube. How's it Uncle? You know, Pregi, mm -hmm. the way I used to wash his napkins. Mm. So yellow that water used to come out. I play Aya, Jennifer's uh, mother-in-law. She's a typical old lady. Those who have them at home <laughs> would relate to her. She was brilliant. Being an old person, you want wisdom from them. And at the same time, she gives you that. But she just gives you these one-liners that you're like, did she really say that? Eat nicely, full stomach and go. Mm. <laughs> And take out one photo with me. I won't be here next year. Aww. Thank you. The cast, the crew, were so good, accommodating, patient, and really amazing people. And I enjoyed working with all of them. This movie is being shot in Chatsworth. I am proud to say that I am from Chatsworth, and I know that you're going to love seeing all the bits and pieces of Chatsworth on screen. I think in South Africa we have so many beautiful stories to tell and I really wanted to capture the rich subculture that is here within the Indian community in South Africa. So shooting in Chatsworth was really a dream come true. We had roads locked off, we had one of the areas come to an absolute standstill and, and people were just so generous. I grew up in Chatsworth myself so I'm a real Chatsworth girl and I love this community. I love what it stands for, I love what the people are about. It showcases the different cultures and the community of Chatsworth. I love the fact that the community is like a family, like your neighbours are your family, not just your neighbours, the whole district. You can walk to anybody's house and, you know, just visit like their family. I personally am just so excited that we were able to shoot this movie in Chatsworth. 
everybody's going to love keeping up with the Kandasamis. It's a film about family, it's a film about happiness. You're going to enter that cinema, you're going to feel with us. They're going to laugh, they're going to cry, and they're going to go on this roller coaster of emotions. You're going to be talking about it for weeks and months on end, and of course you're going to want to watch it again. I really wanted a film where people would laugh, and at some points just feel a knot in their tummy. And I want them to leave the cinema just reflecting, am I a Jennifer, am I a Shanti? And hopefully, if need be, make some sort of changes in our lives, because really that's what we're all here to do, to, to just try and, and become better people. Keeping Up With The Kandasamis was co-produced by the late Junaid Ahmed, who passed away this year at the age of 57. He will be remembered for productions including Happiness is a Four-Letter Word, Hard to Get and Gandhi My Father. And South Africa will miss his talent as a film producer, mentor and pioneer. Keeping Up With The Kandasamis is a fitting end to a great life and career and Junaid Ahmed will be remembered as much as a producer of happiness and insight as he was a producer of movies. <laughs>